Yeah, hi. I'm Jeffrey, Jeffrey Prince. However, most people know me as Guru Jeffrey. I was born and raised in the northwest of England, Merseyside, that's the United Kingdom. I changed the negative thinking of my students and clients into gaining positive results for themselves. Results that give them freedom to pursue their goals. I love to show people that whatever they dream and learn today will help them build their future tomorrow. To show the young buzz boy that he can become tomorrow's general manager or the student that they can become tomorrow's business leaders. I show people the possibilities of what they can become what they're capable of doing simply by creative visualization and to use positive affirmations, empowering them to believe in themselves so they understand that what they believe and perceive they will achieve. Educari Media has developed an online learning course which combines online lectures with assignments to be submitted Online learning gives you control over when and where you study, whether you're a busy professional or someone who wants to increase your opportunities in the workplace. You're most welcome. You can now choose an online learning syllabus which can fit around your busy work and life. This is ideal for the international students who can gain more knowledge without having to leave their countries. The empowerment book and modules will draw out the latent talent that is in all of us. The modules have been created and put together to run in conjunction with module, workbook, working exercise for each. We will also include a visual of each of the modules also an mp3 version to listen to. Extra information is available in the book Empowerment to gain added knowledge. I'm an executive coach, business advisor and author and prove that through the power of positive mental attitude and creating positive actions you will be able to succeed. Having this attitude, I've been able to chase my own visions and dreams over the years. However, what I like best is to empower others to run with theirs. I've developed a natural ability to help and motivate people. I've always led from the front and guided others to do the same. I do this by empowering them to release their full potential by drawing out the dormant and natural abilities that are locked inside all of us. After all, we all have a small flame burning, so I turn that spark into a raging inferno, a fire that will burn inside them for the rest of their lives. Growing up, I certainly didn't have the best of everything. My father died when I was 10 years of age. However, it was later years that I learned began to realise that empowerment really was and what it meant to me. I now look back and feel it was when I was removed from my secure environment and started to work as an engineering apprentice, where I was placed into a new world with strangers other and other apprentices who felt the same as me. When we were told what we were good at and what we were not good at, also who was better than we and why we needed to change this is began when i began to doubt myself nowadays schools colleges businesses and universities have a stronger policy of integration nurturing and self-development they help advance and build on what students were born with i understand that sometimes they manipulate the building blocks which young people have. After all, their families gave them core values and fixed them in place.
creating a structured environment with boundaries and discipline. However, the business and educational establishments continue the student's personal development. Unfortunately, there is a wide gap throughout the world. Therefore, in some cases, many missed opportunities leave students with either partial or no foundation blocks, or worse still, no tools to be able to develop themselves personally. For they are the building blocks to develop their self-esteem. I myself was not an academic when I left school. However, I know that through my constant searching to develop more, I learned that if I intended to get on in life, I had to continually keep seeking knowledge. This is what I've done for the past 50 plus years, and I'm still learning now. Over the years, I've listened to businesses and clients talk about people empowerment at many different times. However, the main basic theme remains the same. Empower people with the means to make decisions and to make those decisions the right ones. I've seen the results in males and females, also young and old, when empowerment process has been put into the workplace, in charities, on committees, as well as on sports and social clubs throughout the world. There has always been a heightened increase in productivity and an increase in the quality of life. I've seen people in empowerment make tremendous differences in many different organisations based on culture and work ethic. However, all empowerment is based on job concepts of enlargement, delegation, job enrichment, the concept of empowerment is to delegate power by spreading the empowerment and delegating it to the individuals. However, it depends on two things. First, empowerment requires that the individual or teams will change. If power can't change because it's in the environment, the business culture or management positions, then empowerment will not be possible nor is empowerment conceivable in any logical or meaningful way. In other words, if the power can change, then empowerment will be possible. Second, the concept of empowerment depends upon the idea that power can expand. The second point reflects our common experiences of power rather than how we think about power. To clarify these points, we must first discuss what is meant by empowerment. Let me give you an example. I was advising a firm in Cheshire, United Kingdom, where the CEO had just started the business that ran very much as a dictator. What he said was the right all the time. When I looked deeply into the business, I realised that what was holding the business back was not the lack of business coming in, there was plenty, but that all the decisions were being made by him and there was no delegation or no empowerment in the employees at all. So my task was to show the CEO how to change his attitude and to buy into the cultural change in business. The CEO bought in and stepped aside. The members of staff were happy because they had now been given the opportunity to lead their departments their way and make the changes for smoother running in the business. They felt now that they had been empowered with responsibility. Regular team meetings were now established and a new spirit was born into the firm. I know that it has worked because I get regular updates and the business is growing at a manageable and sustainable pace. The content of the modules that will be covered, empowerment of change, controlling your life, presenting yourself, motivation and confidence, CPD, decision making, managing your time and planning targets, 
realistic goal setting, customer care, affirmation, attitude, dictate your altitude. Thank you for listening and hope you will follow the link through further.